a very good morning and welcome to the biology search channel so uh, in previous lecture we have discussed about the uh, scientist and their discoveries and all in this lecture we are going to discuss about the era of my molecular biology what are the different contributions and uh, after 20th century which one is the major and which one is the milestone discoveries and invention has been done by various scientists we'll see in this lecture today so by the end of 1900 science of microbiology grew up to the adolescent stage and had come to its own as a branch of the more inclusive field of biology in the latter years the microorganisms were picked up as ideal tools to study various life processes and thus an independent discipline of microbiology molecular biology was born the relative simplicity of the microorganism their short life span and the genetic homogeneity provided an authentic simulated model to understand the physiological biochemical and genetical intricacies of the living organisms so the use of microorganism as a tool to explore fundamental life process became attractive due to the following facts the number one fact they reproduce grow very rapidly as you know microorganisms grow through the asexual reproductions like fission budding and all those other uh, by spores as well so they reproduce very rapidly as a sexual reproduction human beings can reproduce so and it can be cultured in small and vast quantities conveniently and rapidly even it's very easy to inoculate them and it's very easy to grow in laboratory condition it by making some culture medium so their growth can be manipulated easily by physical and chemical means and their cells can be broken apart or the contents can be separated into fractions of various particle sizes because of these characteristics microorganisms were used as a research models to determine exactly how various life processes takes place in the terms of specific reactions and the specific structure involved george bidel and edward l tatum both us scientists were the pioneers in the area of microbial genetics they studied the relationship between genes and enzymes in 1941 using mutants of the breed mold fungus neurospora creza and gave the concept of one gene one enzyme hypothesis so in the exam they can ask the questions who has given the concept of one gene one enzyme hypothesis and that is bidel and tatum using mutants of neurospora they demonstrated that there was a direct relationship between a single gene and a single enzyme bidel and tatum hypothesized that the synthesis of the compounds essential for cell growth must be under genetic control they also concluded that a defect in one gene produced a single defect in an essential enzyme resulting in the growth factor requirement that is one gene one enzyme theory lederberg bidel and tatum were awarded the nobel prize in 1958 for the discovery of one gene one enzyme hypothesis max delbruck and salvador luria in 1943 described the genetic nature of viruses they also proved that the gene mutations were truly spontaneous and not directed by the environment dna is the genetic material and carried genetic information during transposition in bacteria was demonstrated in 1944 by oswald avery colin mcleod and macklin mccarthy so avery colin mcleod and mccarthy in 1952 lederberg first of all introduced the term plasmid to describe non chromosomal genetic material in bacteria in collaboration with norton jinder 
a student in his laboratory at Wisconsin, USA, Lederberg discovered that genetic information could be transferred between bacteria by bacteriophage. This process was known as transduction. Lederberg, along with his wife, Esther, developed a unique method of studying bacterial mutants, now known as replica plating. Using this method, it is possible to transfer bacterial colonies from one agar growth plate to other so that each new plate is an exact replica of the original. With this technique, Lederberg showed that mutations in bacteria occur randomly and spontaneously. Thus, discovery made by Lederberg in bacterial genetics, transduction and conjugation in bacteria have made the science of bacterial genetics and have subsequently spawned many advances including aspects of modern molecular genetic of gene cloning. Lederberg single-handedly changed the nature of bacterial genetics and biochemistry. Watson and Crick in 1953 made most remarkable discovery in genetics by discovering the molecular structure of DNA providing framework for understanding molecular basis of inheritance and expression of genetic information. Okwa and Korenberg isolated and synthesized the enzyme responsible for production of ribonucleic acids, RNAs and DNA that carry hereditary information for which they received Nobel Prize in 1959. In 1968, the Nobel Prize for Physiology and Medicine was shared by Holly Harbind, uh, Hargobind Khurana and Nirman for their contribution to the understanding of the genetic code and its function in protein synthesis. In 1969, Nobel Prize in Medicine and Physiology was awarded to Dalbra, Harzi and Luria for studying the replication mechanism and genetic structure of bacteriophage. Albert Claude, Palade and Duvi jointly received the prestigious Nobel Prize of 1974 for the isolation of cell parts in order to study the structure and chemistry of individual cell which led to the discoveries of ribosome and lysosome. Claude, Pallade and Dewey joined to receive the prestigious Nobel Award 1974 for the ribosome lysosome. In the following year, 1975, Dulpeco, Temin, Baltimore of USA were awarded the Nobel Prize for researching the interaction between Timor virus and genetic material of the cell. In 1976, Gajusek and Bloomberg did research leading to Nobel Prize for a test to show hepatitis virus in donated blood and to experimental vaccine against the disease. Two years later, Arbor Smith and Nathans were jointly awarded this prize for discovery of restriction enzyme and their application to the problems of molecular genetics. That's all today's lecture. We'll uh, meet to the next lecture by the winning of, by the winner of different Nobel laureates and their research work in the microbiology. Thanks a lot.